Hi everyone, it's that time of year again, course selection. I'm going to walk you through the process of how to choose your courses for next year, as well as describe some new courses and programs that we're offering that I'm really, really excited about. I'm also going to post this presentation on the Counseling Services website, so there is no need for you to take any notes. Please remember that you will have from February 20th through February 28th to make your course selections in Infinite Campus. Today we're going to learn how to request courses in the Infinite Campus Parent Student Portal. You can begin requesting courses on February 20th, but the last day for course requests is February. Log on to the high school website. You can see the website address there. And if you're logging on for the first time, use your student ID for your username and your birthday for your password. To request a course, go to the Infinite Campus webpage and click the Infinite Campus Portal Login. You can see that on your right. You log in using your Infinite Campus username and password. Contact the IC Help Desk if you have forgotten your password or need additional help. Click on Registration 1516. You'll see a list of required courses. These are the courses that have been recommended for you by your teachers. These courses may be adjusted when you meet with your school counselor. You must request enough courses to fill a total of eight periods for the school day. So to request your courses, click on Course Search. Select Go. And a list of courses will be displayed. Use the scroll bar to view the entire list. Click the course name to view information about the course, including any prerequisites. Upon viewing the course information, you'll be given the opportunity to request the course. The course information will list course credits, grade levels, prerequisites, and a course description. Use the scroll bar to view all information. If you want to request this course, simply select Request This Course. If you decide you aren't interested in this course, Use the top scroll bar to find another course to view. After requesting a course, the course will appear under Requested Courses. If you have requested a course and decide you no longer want that course, click on its name in the Requested Courses list. Once the course information is displayed, select Drop This Request. The course will no longer be displayed in your list of requested courses. For each of your requested courses, you should also select an alternate course. Search for a course, click its name to view its information, then select Request as Alternate. Once the request is successfully made, the course name will appear under Alternate Courses. Some information about graduation requirements and credits. You'll notice that we have the subject areas, English, History, Math, Science, etc gives you the number of years you have to take the course and the number of credits. Remember, you need 120 credits to graduate. You also need to take the PARC tests in language arts and math. You must take the end of course biology assessment. Um, and when you meet your graduation requirements credit wise, it doesn't mean that it equates to college admissions requirements. You really need to have a rigorous schedule and you can speak to your school counselor about that. Also, rising seniors, please avoid senioritis. Uh, make sure you select challenging courses in your senior year. Colleges don't want you to slack off. And if you're thinking about dropping something during senior year, make sure you speak to your, your school counselor before any of that happens. There'll be course recommendations for each subject area, academic subject area, English, math, science, social studies, world languages. That's gonna be under required courses. If you think you're eligible for a course that doesn't appear on the list, speak to your teacher to, dis to discuss if that option's right for you. When registering for electives in the fine and practical arts, graduation requirements include five credits in the fine arts, five credits in the practical arts, and two and a half credits in personal finance or American economics. I'm very excited to talk to you about new courses that we're offering at the high school. First is our dual credit program with Syracuse University. If you take any of these classes listed and pay the very discounted tuition price to Syracuse University, you will receive Syracuse University and CHS credit. The classes that we're offering are Calculus 3 through the Math Department, Introduction to Financial Accounting through the Business Department, 
forensic science through the science department, and practices of academic writing through the English department. All of these classes will receive the same weight as an AP class. In addition, in the math department, we have mathematical game theory honors, advanced statistical modeling honors, linear algebra honors, and geometry honors. In English, we're offering 20th century literature and humanities. Humanities is an interesting course. It's a combination of English and social studies, and you can choose the type of credit that you like. It's a full year course. You can elect to have English credit or social studies credit, or two and a half credits of English and two and a half credits of social studies. For any information and for more information about these courses that I've mentioned, you can go to the program of studies where it's outlined. In engineering, we have computer integrated manufacturing robotics. Performing arts, we have AP Music Theory, Dance 2, and Intro to Technical Theater. So there are a lot of new options for, for you guys to take next year. Now, remember when you're choosing your courses that teachers can make one academic recommendation for each student. If you want to take more academics, such as two science classes or math classes, just speak to your teacher and your teacher will let your counselor know or let your counselor know. But remember to complete your course requests between February 20th and February 28th. I hope you found this information helpful. If you have any questions at all, please see your school counselor. Good luck and have fun choosing your courses.